Reproduction of this program in whole or in part is prohibited without written approval of the originating agency. The KY-71 Secure Telephone Unit, or STU-2, provides through a single instrument secure and non-secure voice communication. Security is assured through a keying process, which you will find fairly simple. The crypto variables are produced in paper tape form and distributed in plastic canisters. Using a KOI-18 tape reader, variables may be loaded either directly into a STU-2 terminal through the fill port or first into a KIC-13 electronic transfer device for temporary storage and later loading into a STU-2. Each segment of tape contains one variable. Tear off a segment of key tape at the perforation. Line up the smaller feed holes on the tape with the white dots on the reader face. Feed the header through just enough to grasp, but stop before any of the larger holes have reached the reading head. To ready the STU-2 for loading of key, insert the crypto ignition key, or CIK, and turn on the power. Automatically, the STU-2 terminal steps through an alarm check procedure, taking from six to 10 seconds. During this time, the desk set lamps blink in sequence. When the alarm check is completed, the desk set lamps go out and the terminal is ready for loading variables. Next, set the mode select switch to VN if loading a net variable or VU if loading a unique variable. Remove the protective cover from the fill port and when loading directly, connect the KOI-18 cable. Make sure it is firmly seated. Press and release the initiate button on the terminal. The desk set alarm lamp should come on and stay lit. Wait 10 seconds. Pull the tape through the reader at a slow and constant speed. When the tape is completely through, the desk set alarm lamp should go out. If it doesn't, press and release the initiate button again. If the alarm lamp still does not go out, re-thread the tape and pull it through again. Once the alarm lamp is out, the STU-2 loading process is complete. If you have just loaded a net variable, check the digital readout at this point. It should display 01, indicating that the terminal is ready for operation. But if the variable you loaded was a unique, you need not check the digital readout since it is a function of the net mode only. If you have more than one terminal to rekey, you will probably use the electronic transfer device or KIC-13, which has six storage registers, each of which must be cleared and filled in a separate action. Rotate the fill switch to select a register. Clear or zeroize the register by turning the mode switch to zero. While holding it there, press and release the initiate button. Then, turn the mode switch to off check. Again, press and release the initiate button. Check the parity indicator light. The storage register is clear if it does not flash. If it does flash, repeat the procedure. Clear each of the desired number of storage registers in the same manner then connect the KOI-18 to the KIC-13 directly or with a fill cable and load the variables using the following procedure. Turn the KIC-13 mode switch to on. Set the storage register select switch to the desired register. Press and release the initiate button and pull the key tape through the reader as before. The parity indicator light on the KIC-13 should flash to indicate that the parity is good. Turn the mode switch to off check and press the initiate button again briefly. 
Flashing of the parity light means the new variable has been stored. Write the identifying information for the new variable in the space by the pre-selected storage register. Load each of the succeeding variables in the same manner and destroy the tapes. The KIC-13 is now ready to rekey one or more STU-2 terminals. Set the variable select switch to the desired storage register. Connect the KIC-13 to the terminal fill port and set its mode switch to on. Next, set the STU-2 front panel mode switch as before to either load VN for a net variable or load VU for a unique variable. Press and release the initiate button on the terminal. The alarm lamps on the terminal and the desk set should flash for about one second to indicate that a valid variable has been loaded. If the alarm lamp stays lit, press and release the initiate button again to reinitiate the loading. The terminal digital display will reset to 01 only after a net variable loading. Return the STU2 mode switch to the appropriate operating mode, KDC or NET. Remove the loading device from the terminal fill port and put the protective cover back on. If you have loaded a unique variable, you need to take one more step. You must notify the key distribution center, KDC, that a new crypto variable has been loaded. This is known as a rekey call. Simply dial the five-digit identification number assigned to your terminal. Then press the secure button. Your terminal will automatically dial the KDC. In response, the KDC will send signaling tones followed by a dial tone, which means that your terminal is now ready to make KDC calls. At present, unique variables do not require updating. However, in the net mode of operation, the STU2 must be updated daily in order to work properly in the secure mode. To update net variables, first, make sure the alarm lamp on your desk set is out, that none of the desk set indicators are lit, and that the CIK is in place. Then rotate the mode select switch to local VN and press the initiate one time only. The digital readout will advance one number, indicating that the update is completed. Reset the mode select switch to net. If no alarms are present, the update was successful and your terminal is ready for operation. There may come a time when it is necessary for you to destroy or zeroize the crypto variables in your terminal. Electricity has no bearing on this function. You can do it quickly with or without power. Merely push and rotate the zero eyes selector switch to zero eyes. That's about it. If you experience any difficulty with the loading procedure, remember to check that the CIK has been inserted, that the key generator alarm lamp flashes intermittently, and that the zero eyes switch is in the normal position. If the difficulty continues, call maintenance. Also, don't forget, you must zeroize the KIC-13 and destroy used tape segments immediately. All of the procedures covered here are spelled out in the Operating Instructions Manual KAO191, which is provided with each terminal. Good luck and happy keying. Thank <laughs> you.